All right, so getting ready to machine this cover for the rotary valve on a 717 engine. It's the same thing for the other one. I got my marks across there. It's indicated. That'll be my first cut. This is where I'm going to mark and see how much I'm going to take off. I'll be able to measure it. And I'll subtract that. I have a flat spot right here I gotta go off of and also that groove that you see that's the most landing area for the uh, gasket. So I'll be starting in a minute. I got my first cut going across here. I'm not going too fast. I ain't in a hurry. I don't have nobody telling me what to do. And I do what I want on the tie. So I'll speed it up on the next cut. This is the first one. We'll look at it when I'm done. And we'll see where the low spots are. And whether or not they are going to affect the valve. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's got to be close. Alright, I just finished the first cut. I took five thousandths off after I touched. And you can see, see this is why or how you know you got a pretty good indicating job. See how both of them, you got your low spots in the same place. This is normal for the way these rotary valves wear the plate. So people think, oh, nothing wrong with my jet ski. Most of these are bad, but it'll run. So I'm going to cut some more and I'll determine where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to worry about cleaning up every little speck right there. That doesn't matter. All right, here we go. It took another five thousandths off of this one. You see, it really doesn't make much of a difference, does it? I'm taking five more. All right, so I took 15 thousandths off of that. Started at zero, went away, so it's at 85, 15. And probably a couple more on my touch. Now, see how this is? It'll run that way. What you're really concerned about is if the gas can get from here to here, and it can. It's sealed here, it seals here, and that is pretty bad. It is sealed on the outside. I'm going to take more, but we can't just keep taking metal off just because we want it to look pretty. Alright, that is 25 thousandths of an inch. I could probably take another seven or eight thousand off of there to get that clean. I'm not worried about that. And it's on 75 from zero, 25. So I have to take that off of every surface. This surface here. That one. And that little groove you see for the O-ring, I gotta get that right. Other than that, you're ready to go in a little bit. Alright, I punked out. I'm taking another five thousand dollars for that. Let's see what it looks like. That's thirty thousand. That's almost a thirty second of an inch. That's how bad that was. A lot of people think this stuff isn't worn over the years. It's worn. When you buy a key, it's worn out. That's how it works. Unfortunately, that's life. Much better than it was. That's the only small area that didn't clean up. We know it's flat, we know it's smooth, we know it's gonna work. And yes, I did punk out. I wasn't gonna take that last 5,000 and I, I did. I'm not taking any more.